in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so hip she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Welcome back to Life is Strange. Oh, it's so good. Um, right, back in episode three. This is called Chaos Theory. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing it. Um, I, I Obviously, I didn't rescue Kate in the last um, episode. Now, a couple of you guys have said that you were able to do that. So I guess it'd be interesting for you to, to let us know what the differences are and how that sort of plays out differently. We'll see. So, back at the dormitory by the look of it. Okay, sorry, I'll just let this introduction play out and then we can get into the game. Oh, fireflies. I've never seen those in real life. Episode 3 Chaos Theory. So good. Now, according to you guys who've been watching uh, my other videos of this game it's about to get a lot more interesting in this episode Kate! I have something to show you meet me in front of campus I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Right, so Chloe is back and she wants us to go outside in the middle of the night. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Yeah, and um, a couple of you guys said I could have probably saved her if I'd had a good look around her stuff in the room. Oh. Thanks for the image, Nathan. Oh yes, creepy Nathan. Did yeah, he was. Ever think Samuel was a yeah. creeper. Um, and if I'd have looked around the stuff in her room, she was obviously very close to her you father. You're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. And if I'd asked about hey, her father I instead swear, of her sister, I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Wow. Okay, there's a couple of people I recognise in there, and there's one or two that I don't. Okay. So, uh, yeah, if I'd have if I'd have mentioned her father to her, she may well have. Uh, she may well have reacted better. Let's best feed the rabbit. Yeah, before Are you we go. Hungry bunny? Here, not on this. I don't want the end of this episode to... Uh, sorry, the end of this world, this episode in the game. Right at the very end it says... There's a... Oh, hang on a minute. There's a glass of water there. It'd be good if I could take that away from near the electricity. A 
That's a bit better. I can see the rabbit now. <laughs> I do like the art style in this game, it's really, really good. And <laughs> as you all know, mirrors, mirrors actually work in this game. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. English AP has been crossed out. Sad face. All right, let's go. Oh, it's creepy. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Let there be light to finish your phrase. Oh. Oh, this is Kate's room. I'm sorry, Kate. We love you. So much hypocrite. Hypocrites. Mm. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. Damn right. I won't rest until we find out the truth. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. So sad. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Oh, someone else is up. I miss your light, Kate. Dana looks so sad. Even though she's trying not to show it. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. Well, she was depressed. I would say we're all responsible. Or blame Victoria. No, don't, don't, don't start doing things like that. Um, I say we're all, we're all responsible. She was depressed. Yes, I'll say that because she was. But I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Uh, that's a ridiculously, a, a unbelievable, understatement. It must have been really bad to throw yourself off a roof. What? Of course it was. Why was she on the roof? Um, that's all you know. Kate was serious. Uh, why was she on the roof? Well, to, to commit suicide, I, I think. I mean, uh, that's all you know. I actually, I should ask her a question. That's really all you know? Like, why would I know anything else? And Max, it's not cool to treat me as if I'm some suspect. I have a fucking headache now, so please, let me crash. Well, the angle of the question was not the way it came. Oh, I'm gonna... I am wiped out, Max. Fine. We'll talk later. Not exactly how I intended the questioning to go. You see, the way that she asks the question is quite different to the way that uh, you think it's going to be is asked. Both sad and pathetic. Uh, what does it say? Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I'd write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to, uh, never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pushed out. If you need any money, let me know. Oh, great. So he's dumped her. I mean, I think she was pregnant, if I remember rightly. And uh, that's her tough jock of a boyfriend. Sounds like he's trying to just do a runner stuff. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Uh -huh, yeah, well. All right, let's keep going. No boys allowed. Well, sorry, I'm here. Missy Kate. Hmm. Incredible. Taylor is utterly shameless. Yes. So everybody who was um, teasing her and spreading information about the video that was recorded and put it online and all of that, they're the ones that didn't help um, with her depression. 
So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. In front of the main hall. I really don't like being out at night. Oh wow. This is where she died. Pretty horrible. I have to go in and out of this place every day. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. So I guess for those of you who saved Kate when you were playing, you wouldn't have seen any of those things, that's for sure. Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees oh, me. Oh, right. Nobody can expel me. Where can I hide? Yes, anyway. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Where is it? Oh, I can't go that way then. Oh, I see. Right, I have to go. Some, I have to go this way then. Oh. Okay. Get that ass in gear now. Yes. All oh, right. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I've got some messages from other people here actually. Hey Max, don't want to bother you, just check in and see how you are. I know, I know today was hard, but you did more than anyone else could have to help Kate. I'm proud of you. Please, no worries about uh, going to the drive-in, but if you want to escape to the planet of apes, let's go. And if you need to talk, I'm always here. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing. Nathan got suspended at least. I'll call you later. Okay, that's good. So he did get suspended. Very, very good. Uh, and a private number. Hang on a minute. What's this? Keep your smart mouth shut about everything. Or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, whore, feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Well, who do you think this is? Who do you think that's from? So this is from uh, from my mother. We know this is painful and we want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. And if you want to come and spend some time back home, the door is open and your bed is made. We love you. I think you must have called. They had a chat. Okay, it was good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about. You were there for your friend and she had nobody else. Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect more than what you did. You are a hero and we love you so much, Maxine. Call us anytime if you need to talk or visit. Okay, it kind of makes me feel a bit better. Thanks, Mum. I've got... I need... Where's the... I have no button for a torch. I mean, should I... Oh, okay. The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Right, well, I can't go that way anyway. Um, and now I'm stuck behind a fence. Right, so the principal here, he, uh, I need to get through that gate. I presume I can't go around the other way. Now he's going to see me. So how do I... He's right there. Um, can I turn off that light? It's right there. Um, I can't, I, I, you see, there's a power thing there. That would be perfect if I could, but no. Uh. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Right, well, he, he didn't see that. Right, do I have to wait for him to get up? Move, man. Is he gonna? Is he gonna move at all? <laughs> this is so boring. Can I move in the dark? Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. <laughs> You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. 
I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Well, yes, that's the point. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open... Right, so this was ages ago. I tried to rewind. It didn't give me a... A spot to rewind too. Come on. I forgot about the going fast thing. Right. You can open the door? Or do we go back further? Ah, there he is. Okay. He's opening the door. Keep going, keep going. Max the ninja strikes the There we go, it worked. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. My ass down. <laughs> I can't believe it. Scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay. Right? Well, that's true. Uh, don't joke or chaos theory. Um, I, I hope so. I wonder, well, let's talk about chaos theory. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to, oh yeah, manipulate time and space. No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Um, okay, about Kate or about Rachel? Well, uh, probably both. I mean, let's let's start with... Let's start with Kate. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Uh, well, exactly, but not just those guys. Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular books. <laughs> and even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive, dead, kicking it? Um... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. <laughs> I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. 
Insert groan. <laughs> nice. A good rhyme. Oh, that's, that's, that's actually rhymed as well. Anyway, let's go. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Kate. Liar! Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Mark. Mr. <laughs> please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Oh my god. Spoiled little rich kid. You're fucking kidding me. Cl classic flirting with a teacher and he pushes you back so you try to blackmail him. Fantastic. Real class act she is. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. I just noticed the poster says, Go Bigfoots. Chloe the Keymaster. Shouldn't it be Big Feet? You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. <laughs> I'm serious. I could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Yeah, I still don't know why my powers wouldn't work. Come on, one more door in our Do I get a certain amount of times I can use it per day or something? We're in. So this is the principal's office. Oh, it's just so, so wrong. Let's have a good look around. See if there's anything else. Uh... Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like. That. Yeah, nice observation there. A total. <laughs> oh, okay. We've got some keys. They could be useful. At his desk. No way. Uh, there's nothing here. Uh, it's very surprising, actually. Okay, can you uh, can you open the door? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lock picking, thanks to. Frank, I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Well, I saw the key cabinet over there, so let me just go get that then. I'm assuming I can just walk back over here. Here we go. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Great. Right. Well, let's let's try sweeping past the desks again. Uh, oh, here we go. No keys here. No. Oh, hold up. Nothing. 
thing to see here. Oh no, just open that one. Nothing. Damn you. Desolation. Right, so, not here. Uh, oh, there's more. Hang on. Crap. Oh, God. Just done that one. Sorry, keep. I keep going to press the right button. Boring. Sorry, the button at the right place is just... No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Okay. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Okay, it said there's sugar, soda can, duct tape, something. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, one thing I noticed there. Uh, it was just... Oh, hang on. What's this? What's this? Sodium claw. What the... What the hang on. Hold on a minute. Just powder to create chlorine dioxide. Everybody knows that. So you're really going to try this? He would just try. I bow to your wisdom. Um, okay. So, let's have a look at this. Right, I need... <laughs> now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chlorate. Here's how you do it. Uh, pull the sugar in the can. Wrap tape around the... Well, can? What? Stick the thing in the right... Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, fine. So, look, if I'm going to need access to other rooms, can I just take all the keys? Take all the keys! Here are the keys. Oh, oh fine. Off. Fine. Sugar! Aha! Ooh, sugar. Well, that's one thing. Perfect. Um, now, now what else have we got? Three more items to go. Do we have to search all this stuff again? Okay, good, good. They, they they don't make you go through the pain of searching all these cupboards with nothing in them again, which is good. Can we go in there? No. So, yeah, what I was going to say was, I don't know if you noticed, but when, uh, when I said to Warren on the phone that I would go to the... Uh, the movies with him. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. I, um, very quickly, very briefly, Warren saw Chloe look up. Nerd. Let's see if I She's can probably a little jealous of the relationship there. Okay, cool. So we've got uh, a can. Release the Kraken. Oh, the, release the Kraken. That's pun of the day. It's all mine anyway. Okay, good. So now we've got a can and halfway the halfway home, Max. Can and the sugar. What? What now? You still there? Yes. Did you blow up? Oh, I haven't found everything yet. Right. So duct tape and sodium chlorate. Where are we going to find either of those things? I need to know where the chemistry. What's that? Just water. Fine. Uh, chemistry place. Don't think I'm going to find duct tape in the corridor. That would be pretty cool, but no. So 
funny because there's tape holding up. It's not no, it's not good enough tape that, but there was tape holding up the um, posters. I'm quite glad that I can't just go into every room to be honest. Because a long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Wow, yeah, that was in the beginning episode in the girls' toilets. Nathan and the uh, explosion. Right, so I guess I have to go down this corridor. It's the only way to go, by the look of it. I suppose I could try. I just walked past all the lockers on the left to see if any of them pop open. Oh, here we go. Yes. Gross. I hate that formal and smell. Perfect. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. So Warren, the guy who's just told us how to blow ourselves up, I mean blow up the door, he only got a B minus. Oh, here we go, here we go. What's this? Graffiti. Max takes shitty selfies. Oh god, guess who wrote that? I never said they were great. Troll. <laughs> and I like the little tape down at the bottom there. It said, I had sex with your mum. Brilliant. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Ah, perfect. Weed killer. Properties of sodium chloride is an inorganic compound that's commonly used as weed killer. Brilliant. Okay, now I know this. Where do I find this? Chemistry stuff. Weed killer. Aha. Here's the sodium chloride box. Alright, can I... How do I get to it? Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, you know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. All right. <laughs> Only one more ingredient left. Yeah, one more thing, and that's the uh, the duct tape. So, is that going to be in here as well? It'd be pretty damn useful if it was. Oh, I thought that was tape. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. You want a picture? What? Good evening, fish fish. Oh, so we didn't take a photograph. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Should I turn the light off now? Oh, the reflex. Please resume your slumber. What did I get that for? I've earned a trophy for taking a photograph of a fish tank. It's a major gaming achievement, that. Right, where's this damn tape? Right, there must be another room somewhere down this corridor. So we were walking on the left hand side. I'll continue that. Tape in Jefferson's class last week. Oh yes, my locker. Your locker looks so lonely. Okay. Be good if this was like the woodwork shop or the the duct tape shop. <laughs> duct I mean shop, classroom. Please. I probably should find those items now. I probably should find those items now. That is what... Oh, I'm in the same damn classroom. I've got... <laughs> There's a door at the back of the room. Right, one more. Right. Even the game's getting impatient. Right, well, that's the end of the road here. So there must be another... Another door I can go in. 
All I need is some duct tape. This is like a scene in a horror film. What is? Oh yeah, yeah, right actually, it's a bit spooky. I'm just glad I'm playing this during the day. The contest pictures. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Oh man, yeah, fireman rescuing. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Oh, you think that's good? You just took a really good picture of an aquarium. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Huh, okay, whatever. Whatevs. <laughs> you can never escape the lighthouse here. Yeah, fine. Look, can we just find the damn tape? I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. You said you saw some tape in Jefferson's class last week. Well, oh, there it is. The tape is mine. Right, now we've got everything we need. Let's go and blow up a door. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Oh, sorry, wrong button. No, 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 no. Oh God, well actually I saved a bit of time doing that. I was trying to look for a run button. There it is. I knew there was a run button here somewhere. I'm so sorry. Lost. Oh, here it is. Right. Pipe bomb. Oh my god. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom. Literally. Yes. Time to blow shit up. So stupid. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. It's gonna, it's gonna kill her. It's gonna kill her. Get ready to haul ass. Oh, I don't believe... That was so fucking cool! <laughs> I don't believe we've just done that. Oh, we are toast! Great. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Uh... What should we do? Can we go in there and find the stuff that we were looking for? Can we turn the alarm off? Somebody's... Shit! Shit! Do something, Max! Oh boy, what? What? Okay. So before we actually blow up the door, can we turn off the alarm? Maybe that's the way to go. Right. Um, how do we turn off alarms in this place? Was the smoke alarm? There must be an alarm system somewhere. And you just kind of thought it would be in the security office, right? like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Had to feed your in its spirit animal. Whatever. That's not helping me out. Hmm. 
No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Yeah, okay, whatever. Come on, right, we've got to find this damn alarm. I'm assuming that's what I need to do. No. See, there's that 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 had a key on it. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. <sighs> See, I don't want one for the principal's office. Right. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Okay, so how do I turn it off? That's what I'm after. Key oh, maybe now I can get the key. No. Shit, shit. Do something, Max. Okay. I need to figure this out. So maybe the alarm, uh, I can turn the alarm off inside that door. Is there anything in here that turns off an alarm? Oh, you're kidding me. I'm the other side of the door now. Oh, that's clever. How? If I can get this bastard open, she can't <laughs> Oh, smart. I didn't even think of using that. That's really, really clever. Oh, dumb. Dumb, dumb. I'm so dumb. My domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Oh, I completely forgot about standing in another place and rewinding events. I stay where I am. How who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Right. Well, guys, we are inside the principal's office and uh, have reached the end of this episode. I do hope that you'll be back to watch the next one with me here uh, inside this place. It's so cool. And sorry about getting into this room. It took a little time. That was one of those puzzles, I suppose. Um, but... I will be back in the next episode. I hope you come back to join me. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, guys, and good night.